Guys, I have one question for you. What is the perimeter? And I have that question many times because that's what we're doing today. We're finding the perimeter of a right triangle using the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so when we use the Pythagorean theorem, we find the long side or hypotenuse, the longest hypotenuse by, by doing nine squared plus 12 squared square root. So this is going to be 81 plus 144 square root, which is the square root of 225, which you really should just memorize is 15. You can also use a calculator, but you should really just memorize the, the square. You should memorize some of the squares. 225, 196, the square root of 196 is 14. The square root of 169 is 13. These are, this will just come in handy when you're doing these types of problems. And you guys have better memories than me, so it's not going to be a problem for you. So that's 15. The other way of finding that side, which I prefer, is to realize that this is uh, similar to a 3, 4, 5. So if I divide this by 3, I get 3. If I divide this by 3, I get 4. So if I divided this by 3, I get 5. So it must be 15. It's just faster, right? But then what's the actual perimeter, right? The perimeter is the 15 plus the 12 plus the 9. So 15 plus 12 is 27. 27 plus 9 is 36. Okay. Again, a special right triangle that you should know is the 5, 12, 13, right? Which is going to give us that this perimeter is 30. But let's do it out, right? So we'll have 5 squared. plus 12 squared equals c squared, which will give us 25 plus 144 equals c squared, gives you 169 equals c squared, or c equals 13. All right, so we knew it was a 5, 12, 13, if you remember that shape. So then you add 13 and 12, you get 25. You add 25 and 5, and you get 30. And so the answer is 30 feet. That's the perimeter. Okay, 8, 15. Okay, so this is also a special triangle. Do you guys remember what it is? 8, 15, 17. So that's going to tell us the answer is 40, but let's work it out. We have 8 squared plus 15 squared equals, so this is 64 plus, remember this comes in handy, 225, and this equals 289. And in my opinion, this is the last square that you should memorize. Other than that, you're just memorizing way too much, right? So 289, I happen to know that the square root of 289 is 17 because I memorized it at some point in my life, right? So the square root of 289 is 17. I mean, if you think about it, guys, it's not that many facts. It's like, you know more facts about your favorite basketball player. It's, it's just like five to six facts that you have to at some point remember. So that's 17. So that makes this 17. Which makes 17 plus 8, 25. And then 25 plus 15 is 40. So we're going to have 40 centimeters. Okay. Again, this is 3, 4, 5. So boom, we can say that's 10. How can we do that with a shortcut? Well, that's 3. That's four, that would be five, right? So we could tell that that's 10, but let's do the Pythagorean theorem. We get six squared plus eight squared equals 36 
plus 64 equals 100, and the square root of 100 is 10. It's nice to see that the formula works out. It's good practice. You don't have to do it if you don't want to, but it's good practice. Well, I don't know what your teacher wants, so you should listen to them. So this thing is 10. This thing is 8. This thing is 6. So that's 8 plus 6 is 14. 14 plus 10 is 24. So we have 24 inch perimeter. Okay. Just to do some of these a little bit faster, I'm going to use a shortcut a couple times. That's going to be divided by 3 is 3. Divided by 3 is 4. So divided by 3, this should be 5, which makes this 15. So our perimeter is 9 plus 12 plus 15, which makes this 27, which makes this 36. Okay, now we've done it this time, so I feel okay with this. Do you remember the shape? A special triangle shape is 5, 12, 13, remember? Um, but this is, okay, so let's, let's work this out, right? So we know that a squared plus 12 squared, right? So we're not supposed to know this. a squared plus 12 squared equals 13 squared. So this gives us a squared plus 144 equals 169, which gives us that a squared, when you subtract 144 from 169, you get 25, which gives you a equals 5. Okay, so now we know that that's 5. So then the perimeter, oops, that's terrible. The perimeter is 5 plus 12 plus 13, Add these first, because that'll give you 25. And then 25 plus 5 is 30. Awesome. Okay, okay, cool. This is a 3, 4, 5. But what is it? It's 3 squared plus a squared, or a squared plus 3 squared, same thing, equals 5 squared. So we get 9 plus a squared equals 25, a squared equals 16, so a equals 4. So that's 4, 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 plus 5 is 12, so 12 miles. Okay, at this point, we probably have guessed that's a 6, 8, 10. Starting to see some patterns. 6 squared plus b squared equals 10 squared. So this gives us 36 plus b squared equals 100. Oh man, it's going to keep showing up. So I subtract 36 and I get b squared equals 64, which gives me b equals 8. Okay, so b equals 8, 8 plus 6 is 14, and then 14 plus 10 is 24. Okay, we, we have done this, right? We just did this one, it's tilted, but it's still 6, 8, 10, right? But we'll do 6 squared, a squared plus 6 squared equals 10 squared. So this gives us a squared plus 36 equals 100, or a squared equals 64, or a equals 8. So that gives us an 8 there, 8 plus 6, 14, 14 plus 10, 24. And last but not least, uh, our favorite kind, 3, 4, 5. 3 squared 
plus b squared equals 5 squared, so 9, plus b squared equals 25, b squared equals 16, b equals 4, that's 4, 4 plus 3 is 7, 7 plus 5 is 12, so we end up with 12 kilometers. Cool. Perimeters are fun. You're just adding up things. All right, I'll see you next time.